Oi, oi, mo blissy. Hey everyone, today I want to teach you uh, how to get competitive dittos pretty easily in Sun and Moon because right now there's no good way you can't RNG them, so you just have to get them like legitimately through chaining. But the good thing is you can get a 4 stat ditto pretty easily through chaining, so I'm going to go through how to get that. So there's going to be a few things you're going to need. You're going to need a, uh, not the executor, he's just, he's over here. Uh, you're going to need a Pokemon with Synchronize. And you're going to need a Pokemon with Trick or Switcheroo. Uh, and in this case, uh, my Alakazam is my Tricker and my uh, Synchronizer. So they need to be at the lead of your party. And the Tricker needs to hold a Lepaberry. <clears throat> and the Lepaberry is the berry that restores PP when you're low. <clears throat> Next is... You're going to need a Pokemon with False Wipe. That's my... Uh, my Marowak here. And lastly, you're going to need a Pokemon with Recycle. Uh, I just have a level 10 Munchlax. I know this all seems like a lot, but this is the best way, in my opinion, to uh, get some ditto action here. So, basically what's going to happen is, you're going to lead with the... Oh, and you're going to need a lot of Adrenaline Orbs. Uh, it's an item you can buy for 300. Um, so basically what you're going to do is you're going to lead with this Alakazam. Uh, and then you're going to switch to the Munchlax, have the Ditto transform into the Munchlax, go back into Alakazam, trigger the Lepaberry, go into this thing, false swipe it to one, and then just switch back into Alakazam and just kill everything. And you'll see. You'll see what is going on here. Uh, and the reason we do it like this is because in order for... So, from uh, what I understand right now, Oh, I, forgot. I keep forgetting it's not fly. <laughs> uh, so from what I understand right now... Oh my gosh, I am crazy stupid with this. It's just the Charizard. So from my understanding right now, the mechanic is bugged with uh, whatever is going on in uh, for chaining in terms of synchronizing ditto. I believe it's here, isn't it? So yeah, the uh, mechanic for chaining is a little busted right now in that, so if I have a synchronized Pokemon out, like my, let's say my Alakazam was in my third slot, and he was in the battle fighting, uh, what would end up happening is the Alakazam would synchronize, but he wouldn't synchronize his own nature. He'd synchronize whoever is in his first, uh, who's ever in the first slot. Uh, he's synchronized their nature, so that can actually be pretty good, because you don't, you only need one synchronizer, and you don't need any other natures. Um, but yeah. So anyway, we got all this, and you'll see how this works in a second. So I'm just gonna try, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause until I get a ditto battle. All right, so we have our ditto. So what we first want to do is, uh, the reason I have my Alakazam first is because he is my synchronizer and I want the nature he's got. Uh, I would only want him first if he's the synchronizer. So, like, if I didn't want his nature, I could have someone else whose nature I did want in the front. Like, I have a, um, I think this is timid, I have an adamant, uh, Marowak. I put Marowak first. Then I'd switch into Alakazam, and Alakazam would still do the killing. But the main point is, if you're going for a specific nature, your synchronizer's got to do the killing. So Ditto's going to transform here, and what we're going to do is we want him to turn into our little Munchlax here. The reason for this is because our Munchlax only has one move. So, he's going to uh, he's gonna turn into our Munchlax. There you go. Now he's going to try and use Recycle. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch back into Alakazam here. It's not going to do anything. So then we're going to trick him the Lepaberry my Alakazam is holding. Remember, Lepaberry restores PP. Alright. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our uh, False Swiper, who's my Marowak. And we're just going to false swipe him down to one. So 
So now, all we have to do is go back into Alakazam. Uh, because essentially what we've done here is Ditto can't ever run out of moves because he'll keep he'll eventually run out of PP and recycle the lep and use the Lepa Berry, then he'll use recycle and he'll get the Lepa Berry. You see it, watch. Oh see, and we got a call for help without using a general orb. That's cool too. It didn't get help. That doesn't matter. So we're gonna go into the bag and I'm gonna use my adrenaline orb. Um where is it? Oh, this is just Pokeballs. There it is. So there's my adrenaline orb. So now he's gonna use recycle and he's gonna get the left berry back. And there you go. And so now you simply do this uh, until you get to the max chain. So Ditto's here. Uh, the unfortunate thing about these Ditto's is they could potentially have the hidden ability, but it's not too big of a deal. So uh, I also recommend having lots of regular Lepa Berries because you don't want this Alakazam to run out of PP uh, because you want to get to a chain of 40. That's the goal. And when you get to 40, it'll have four IVs. So we're going to kill this Ditto. Ditto's dead. That's a chain of one. And I use the PP to count here. Oh, uh, probably should turn the XP share off, but whatever. So he, uh, <clears throat> so this is what happens. The Ditto called... Uh, didn't call for help. That's not a big deal. You can just use an adrenaline orb and nothing will happen. And now he's calling for help again. See? This is not a big deal. And you can just do this and waste time until you get to... See, the help didn't appear, but that's not a big deal because you can go into your bag and use an adrenaline orb again. And it has no effect and it doesn't waste adrenaline orbs. Now we got another ditto again. So that's a chain of two. So we have to get to 40, and then that'll be a guaranteed 4 IV ditto. And unfortunately, Synchronize... I, I don't know, I don't think Synchronize guarantees the nature. I think it's still 50-50. I can't remember if they changed that in Gen 6 or 7 or not. Uh, and there you go. So... I'm going to uh, probably fast forward this footage here. So, But you see, as what we have is an infinite setup where this ditto can never run out of his... Uh, he can never run out of PP. Uh, and I like Alakazam for this because his he has synchronized and he, he can learn trick. Uh, but if you don't want to do that, you can. Um, uh, I believe if you're not going for synchronize, then uh, Hypno can learn Switcheroo with a hard scale. And um, yeah, I don't know who else who's a good trick user. There you go. So it was calling for help, and that's, that's all there is to it. So um, I'm probably gonna be like quiet, and then I'm gonna just like fast forward through the footage of me getting to, uh, or I might cut the footage out. I don't know, of me getting a max chain of 40. So I will see you guys then. All right, I believe I've got my 41st or 42nd ditto here. It's just any after 40 is what you need. So what I'm gonna do is go into uh, so this is something actually I failed to mention you should turn the exp share off because my munchlax actually gained a bunch of attacks uh, so I'm gonna have to go delete all those now anyway I'm gonna go back into him so ditto turns into him so he doesn't really have any he doesn't have much to damage me with then I'm gonna go back into my Marowak I'm gonna kill the original actually what I'm probably gonna do first is I'm going to false swipe the new ditto down to one. Then I'm going to uh, kill the original ditto. I'll go a little bit overkill here with Flare Blitz. Hope the new ditto does not call for help. And uh, then we catch it. See, there's my Munchlax getting levels again. So he's calling for help. I hope it does not arrive. Alright, good. That's good because it's just you can't catch it otherwise. So he's Pokeballs. Um, I don't have a lot of good Pokeballs to catch stuff with. 
So I got tired of, uh, of not being able to catch it because I was ill-prepared to catch things, so I'm just throwing the Master Ball at it. And then we're going to look at its stats, and uh, I'll prove to you that it worked. And I'll just shut my game off afterwards and not keep this ditto. So if everything went right, this ditto should have four uh, random perfect stats and be a timid nature. Which is very good. Alright. So we're going to go into my Pokemon. I'm going to go Summary. So he's a timid nature, that's good. That's good news. And let's check his stats here. So if you can see here, it has four uh, potential to be 31, which means they are 31, because after 40 you guarantee 31. If you check here again, uh, not here. Uh, if I minimize this again, you can see those stats are the ones that are there. And let me go back here. So uh, hopefully you guys uh, this was helpful to you, and you guys caught a ditto, because uh, this is this took me maybe 25 minutes to get this ditto. It's got four perfect stats. It's a timid nature. Super useful for breeding. Um, I would offer to give this one away because I don't need it, but I'm going to turn it off because I used a Master Ball, because I got impatient, because I didn't bring all the proper capturing tools. Uh, so thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.